Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Rug Gear RG100. So, as the name sort of implies, this is a rugged handset, IP68 rated. It's an outdoor mobile phone, which basically means it's going to live up to most of the elements thrown at it, be it wind, rain, sand, dirt, it's designed to survive. So we can see it's a candy bar style phone with a front facing numeric keypad. So here is the packaging. On the back here, we've got a rundown of some of the features. So it's not uh, massively feature rich like we're used to seeing here at Clove. That's because it serves a particular purpose. 1.3 megapixel rear camera, dual SIM functionality, Bluetooth 3, 2G connectivity, a micro SD memory card slot up to 32 gigabytes, a 2400 milliamp hour battery. And when it comes to outdoor features, IP68 rated, so waterproof for 30 minutes up to a depth of two meters. Uh, drop protection withstands two meter drops onto concrete. That's the mill spec 810G. Can operate in temperature ranging from minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. It's got a powerful LED torch, amplified 3 watt loudspeaker with 100 decibel uh, reach, and then it's got a 2 inch display with a 176 by 220 resolution. So, fairly sort of basic there. We're not going to kind of lie about that, but this is designed for those who need something solid and reliable on the go. So, there is the outer packaging. We then have a little tab to pull out the actual handset itself. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. So if we pull out the rest of the packaging, we've got quite a bit in here. So we've got a set of very basic in-ear headphones, 3.5 millimeter jack, and it's got an inline microphone there. We then have a variety of chargers. So we've got a two pin EU. We've got the main charging block there. So uh, it's got a USB connection on one end and it's got the bit for interchangeable heads. So we can connect the EU adapter or this, the provided three pin UK adapter. Also included is a micro USB cable. So this is for connecting the phone to the charger primarily. And then under this part of the packaging, we have a sticker, because you need a rug gear sticker. You've got your warranty card. You have a quick start manual, printed manual in color, quite unusual. And you also have a little screen protector as well included. Then we've got the removable battery and we've got a little tool uh, here to help with that because you have to screw this battery in. So quite a chunky but small battery there, 2,400 milliamp hours in capacity, which will keep you going um, for up to 600 minutes of uh, cool time. And then this little key and a little attachment there so you can attach it to your key loop or something like that. And then lastly, we've just got a rug gear cloth for actually uh, cleaning the handset. So if we actually take a look at the phone, here you can see the numeric keypad, tactile feedback, we've got the cool buttons, we've got a central kind of joystick cursor here where you can move it in different uh, directions and press on the central button. Function buttons are at the top there. On the bottom, we've got the USB connection with a rather chunky port cover over it. That's to stop the water getting in. There's the micro USB connection for charging it up. On the side here, we've got two uh, gold pin connectors. That's for other accessories. We've got the volume up and down keys and uh, because this has such a good battery life, if we can open up this cover, what we'll actually find under here is a full standard USB port. You can actually charge other products from this handset. So if you've got another smartphone or mobile device or something like that that needs charging, 
just connect the USB cable to this and you can uh, charge that up from the power that's in the battery on this handset. Now this cover is a little bit fiddly there. There we go. On the top we have the massive torch which is uh, potentially really powerful for people who uh, might be looking at this phone if you work in security um, or other services like that. You've then got the headphone jack again under another cover here. If I can get that open you need uh, nails really to actually be able to do this but I'm struggling to do that but there's the headphone jack there. Uh, on the other side we've got the um, function a function button where you can see we've got solid grips it's all rubber down the side it makes it really easy to hold on to and if we turn this over we've got the rear loudspeaker we've got the 1.3 megapixel uh, rear camera well recessed there no chance of scratching that and then we've got the battery compartment so we're going to open that up and insert the battery so with the battery compartment open you'll see we've got the two sim card slots in here and we've also got the uh, micro SD card slot. So you'll actually notice it takes uh, different size SIM cards from what I can see here, standard SIM and then a uh, micro SIM card, and then the battery simply pops in over them. So it's no uh, sort of easy switching of the uh, battery or the SIM cards or memory cards. You need to really leave them in permanently unless you want to keep undoing the cover on the phone etc. Okay so with the device switched on we get a look at the interface here it's fairly basic on this small display I should mention that this device comes with a 12 month warranty and it weighs in at 165 grams so it's quite heavy but it's going to keep you going uh, for 600 hours on uh, standby so that's pretty impressive Fairly sort of basic user interface here, uh, looks like a basic sort of mobile device that you might get from any different brand, but it gives you all you need. You've got your Bluetooth, your organizer, um, things like that. You use the cursor here sort of in the middle to go up and down the list. You've got the function buttons above, back, you know, you can connect to a Bluetooth dialer. You can use the end call button. And then of course you can dial away. So whether your hands are wet or the phone's wet or greasy or whatever you can still continue to actually uh, use this. So on the side of the device we've got this function button which actually controls the torch so if I just press it quickly once you'll see the torch comes on if I press it again I can increase the brightness if I press it again it changes it into sort of like a flashing SOS mode press it again it's got a quick sort of pulsing mode like that and then I can turn it off and it's hard to show you really but this is quite a bright torch um, could be really useful if you're using this phone at night and yeah there it is it's the RG100 there's more information available online at clove.co.uk but until next time thanks for watching